New at 5, we're getting an inside look at the new facility for migrant girls called Casa Mariposa. It's located in West El Paso at 5901 Bandolero, which used to be an Alzheimer's facility. It's a facility operated by BCFS Health and Human Services. And that's where we find ABC 7 Shelby Montgomery live with our first look inside. Shelby. Hi, Eric. Right now I'm standing inside one of the bedrooms at Casa Mariposa. This particular bedroom has four beds, two right here and two right in front of me. It also has closets for the girls' clothes and their belongings. And inside this, re this room is also a bathroom for the girls to use. Now, beds aren't the only thing here at this facility. Once the girls come here, they don't leave until they get reunited with their sponsor. So that means will eat here, learn here, and play here. So there are classrooms, lounge areas, and even a medical facility. Girls will spend about six hours inside the classroom learning virtually like most students this year. And once the girls arrive, they will be tested for COVID-19. Those girls who test positive will be separated and isolated in the portion of our facility that is able to care for COVID positive uh, girls. The rest of the girls will be uh, brought to a separate part of the facility where um, they'll stay for a seven day observational quarantine period. All of the girls will be tested again on day five um, through a, a PCR test. Now this specific bedroom is for girls who stay through that seven day quarantine and do not test positive. They test negative for COVID-19. The quarantine area is on the other side of the building. Coming up on ABC 7 at 6, I'll tell you how soon they expect to be in receiving those migrant girls. Live in West El Paso, Shelby Montgomery, ABC 7. All right, Shelby, and the facility is for girls ages 12 to 17. It began renovations in February and is now complete. And Krista Pfeiffer, who you just saw there, says BCFS has a three-year grant to operate.